All right, I'm back with the uh, part two of this Bleed Gladiator build. And again, I have to show my full desktop in order for you all to see what I'm doing on my desktop. Um, that's why you see the OBS. That's why you see the OBS in the beginning. But uh, what I did was I came over here to the pathofexile.com and I found their skill tree. And this is going to give me an idea of where I'm going to be starting at. So the class that we're going to be playing is going to be the Duelist. Which starts way down here. And the Duelist has an ascendancy called the Gladiator. And this is going to be what we are playing. But uh, I didn't come over here to do the skills or anything like that i just wanted a general idea of my pathing now this is all going to change in the future with scourge even though we're only six days away uh, the pathing of scourge will change because they are adding masteries to the skill tree which is just going to switch up the pathing a little bit so if there's one thing that I can take into consideration, that's going to be the fact that they are still going to lie in the same general vicinity that they are already in. And this being said, I needed to figure out what type of defenses I was going to get for my character. Now, in the last video, I actually still have the bleeding up from all the research that I just did on how to scale the bleed damage. Now I need to find something to scale the uh, uh, defenses, which is what I'm gonna write down right here. I need a way to develop defenses, but in order for me to know what type of defenses I want, I have to find out what type of defenses there are in the game. So let's go uh, path, it's just in the search box, Path of Exile uh, Defenses. Uh, not a build, but what's Path of Exile Defenses? There's some videos, videos, Zizarin's video is right there. Um, Geeks and Game Master, a guide to Path of Exile's defense mechanics. Let's click on this. Let's see what this is about. So it says that uh, Path of Exile is primarily offen is a is a primarily offense oriented game. However, if you've built your character up as a glass cannon, which means high offense, but you can't take a hit, you'll most likely be frustrated by the frequency of your deaths, which is true. If you're dying a lot in any RPG game, this is uh going to be very frustrating. And this is Synthesis League. I remember these things. Syn Synthesis League was pretty cool. Only because you got an area like this and this whole black thing would start to fall in on you. And you kind of either had to run away from it and get as much as you could or like just different things. This was a pretty fun league though. But yeah. So it also says we'll take a closer look at the various... We'll take a closer look at the various defense stats your character can have in their effects. You should have at least some knowledge of this to become more efficient in questioning, in, in questing, hunting, or farming POE currency. There's one thing you should know about me is I do not care about currency. I don't. Some people will play this game just to get currency. Currency is one thing I care very, very little about at this point in my gaming with Path of Exile. I want to beat Cyrus. I want to beat Elder. I want to beat the Maven. I want to play the league and be able to get to the new league bosses. When Heist came out, I've never fought the Heist boss. When Expedition, which is still, this league is still Expedition, came out, I never had a chance to do any of their in-game content. So, with Scourge League, we are only six days away. I'm hoping that I can develop something good enough to take me to the end game and finally accomplish what I set out to accomplish. But, currency is not on my list of things to do in this game. Anyway, 
the stats. Two things affect defense. The three main attributes is strength, dexterity, and intelligence, and gear. So stats affect defense. Stats affect defenses. I'm just going to write that down. These are notes for me, so when I do log into the game with my first character, I will already have my idea of what I want to do along with my defenses. But the stats will affect the defenses. Um, that also means that there are three main types of defensive stats. You have armor, you have evasion, and you have energy shield. Each stat corresponds with an attribute, which is detailed next. Okay, cool. So we get armor, evasion, and energy shield. I'm just going to control C and control V. Awesome. Um, armor. Armor is strength based. Armor's the strength fa the strength based defensive stat. It lowers physical damage from any source as it has diminishing returns. The higher the damage, the less damage it reduces. It's better for low to medium strength hits from mooks rather than tanking hits from bosses. Still, you can't rely on armor only as there are only since wait as there are also magic attacks to deal with. But armor is one of them. So armor is the strength based stat. Let's control C that. And you can't rely on armor only as there is magical attacks to deal with. Cool. Let's remember that also. Energy shield. Energy shield is intelligence based. So let's control C, let's add a space, and we'll go um, energy shield is the intelligence, is the intelligence base defense stat, cool. So it acts as an extra rechargeable health pool, every hit will deplete it, how much depends on strength how much depends on the strength of the attack. Once it's empty, the next attacks will deplete your health pool. It will start to recover after two seconds of not getting hit. As long as it's up, you won't take damage from any source, though you can still be harmed by chaos element attacks. However, with some unique items... Wait, however, with some unique item effects or passives... So with some unique item effects or passives, your energy shield can also block chaos damage. That's cool. As it is separate from the health pool, anything related to regaining health, which is a leech or regen, will not affect it. That will only affect your health. Some keystones can make them affect your shield if you have them, though. Cool. Evasion. Evasion is dexterity-based. I'm not going to get too much into energy shield, since it is intelligence based and starting over here at the duelist and being the gladiator one side is dexterity which we just read dexterity is evasion while this other side over here is all strength and strength is the armor so not very many intelligence nodes i mean we have wisdom of the glade which will give me a little bit of intelligence plus 10 intelligence nodes here but for a majority of this whole right side, it is all strength-based. Or left side. This whole left side is strength-based. While this whole right side is all dexterity-based. Different types of dexterity. You could run down... Where'd it go? Here. And it will give you 40 dexterity. 15 and 15. So we're going to have to choose be tr between strength and dexterity, which means that we are going to choose between armor or evasion. So dexter so evasion control C 
uh, energy shield is the intelligence base defense stat cool and then uh evasion is the dexterity based stat cool Um, so, the dexter so evasion, the dexterity-based defensive stat. You evade attacks, completely avoiding damage, as long as the action is an attack. You will avoid damage as well as status elements. Spells will still hit, though. Chances of succeeding are affected by your evasion stat and the enemy's accuracy. The lowest evasion you can have is a measly 5% chance. That is the lowest you can have. Which, still, 5% is better than nothing. With enough passives and item effects, this can get up to 95%. So you can have a maximum of 95% eva uh, evasion chance. With programmed entropy... You can't have a lucky streak of avoiding everything. Well, yeah, so you're going to get hit regardless in this game. It doesn't matter. You can't have 100% chance to evade attacks and just never get hit. No, you're going to get hit. And uh, there, is a, there is a hidden counter that will keep track of it. Oh, I did not know that. So the counter will keep track of how many hits you have evaded. And when you will get hit again. Once it's high enough, the next attack will hit you. No matter what. It will reset every time you're hit. Basically, it's impossible to keep evading everything. That makes sense. And then you have resistances. Uh, resistances, I, I wouldn't consider that... I wouldn't consider that a defensive type. Because resistances are mandatory... Resistances are always going to be mandatory. So I'm not even going to get into resistances. Cap your resistances. All of them if you can. I would start off by capping your lightning resistances, fire resistances, and cold resistances. Those three should be the first ones you cap. Then, while you start to get better gear throughout the game, throughout picking stuff up, is when you should cap your chaos resistance also. But you're not going to need that much chaos resistance just going throughout the leveling process. What you're going to need is your cold, lightning, and fire resistances. When it comes to endgame, like people at, uh, like, like Maven fights, Maven does have a degeneration effect. As you're getting her keystones and having that chaos resistance will help you out a lot from not taking as much damage from the the maven attacks but you're not going to need that until you hit maps at least so we're just going to pass resistances resistances is going to be mandatory get that everywhere you can so we're just going to move right on to dodge and this it's a separate mechanic from evasion Dodge is almost random and can cap for up to 75% dodge. And it comes in two varieties, dodge attack and dodge spell. So another defense is dodge. And then you have uh, dodge attack and uh, dodge spell. I wonder if that little counter that this guy is talking about for evasion also counts for dodge is that it will keep track of how much you've dodged and how much you evaded until that number of that counter gets high enough and then you get one shotted and then you're dead anyway and uh you can get them through notable passives as acrobatics and phase acrobatics as well as certain ascendancies and flasks and unique items may also increase your chances to dodge. Cool. So dodge. And then we have block. Endurance charges. Fortify. And flasks. Okay. So let's move on to block. So, so far, uh, R2, we're not going to be doing energy shield. So I'm just going to erase that completely. 
Um, I'm going to also erase that. So our defenses is we have armor, which is strength based. And then you have evasion, which is dexter dexterity based. You have dodge. And this one is block. Now, what does block do? It's similar to dodge and evasion. Blocking will avoid damage completely, but it also has an upper cap of 75%. Though unique items may let you increase it past that. So you could, with unique items, from what this is saying, you can increase your block chance past 75. Shields, staves, and dual wielding weapons have a hidden 15% chance to block. That may be increased through passive skills and other unique item effects. Blocking spells is, sep is a separate mechanic acquired through passives and ascendancies, as well as equipment effects. That seems pretty dope. So blocking will also avoid damage completely. So dodge is avoid damage completely. Avoid damage completely. Did I spell that right? C O M P L E T E L Y. Avoid damage completely. And uh, also, block is avoid damage completely. Cool. Then you have things like fortify, which could only be used with melee, but I'll go over it anyways. We're going to be using a bow. So, fortify is a buff that will provide. 20% mitigation for all types of damage. Excuse me. Get it through skill gems or ascendancies. If you link it to a movement skill, you can keep up the buff as long as you move along packs of enemies using your movement skill. Fortify is a good one. And then you have flasks, which different types of flasks will give you, you know, more armor, more evasion. A basalt, 20% flat physical reduction. The quartz will give you more attack and spell dodge. The stib, stib knight is 100% evasion. The quicksilver, 40% increased movement. These are all the old flasks. Um, flasks have been changed, but I guess we can go over it. So we have our different types of defenses that we can get we know that armor is based off of strength and we know that evasion is based off of dexterity now if we come back over here to our tree we're playing a bleed bow so in this search box let's just type in bleed bleed cool so this will bring up all of our bleed Remove corrupted blood when you use a guard skill. I don't remember that one. So this is probably fairly old also. But here's some bleed nodes. That's a bleed. This over here is bleed. Uh, can I scroll out any farther? I cannot. No bleeds over here on the dexterity side. So let's come over here and look. Oh. We have bleeds over here. We got bleeds over here. Um, anything else have to deal with bleed? No. I thought this was bleed. 12% increased physical damage. Physical damage over time multiplier. Physical damage over time multiplier. Okay. So right now we're just looking for bleed and attack physical damage, attack physical damage, attack physical damage, attack physical damage. Um, these will do nothing for bleed as we wrote out before. Damage, physical damage over time, damage over time, physical damage, bleed damage, damage from elements and flat physical damage will all scale with bleed. Uh, but this is increased attack physical damage. Um, Alright, let's just play it safe. I'm going to do some general pathing right now since we are doing bleed. Let's just grab these because I don't think they will help. But I'm going to 
come down and I'm going to grab these bleed nodes. Damage over time for bleeding, damage over time for bleeding, uh, damage over time for bleeding, cool, and bleed chance. I'm going to grab those four and I'm not going to grab crim uh, Crimson Dance. Uh, what else do we have? We have bleeding down here. What does this one do? 10 to damage over time multiplier. That's still damage over time. So let's come down here and also grab this. And I'm grabbing the health as I'm going along. Just because health is a good thing. Uh, let's continue over here to the right side. And uh, let's grab this bleed one also. Since that's a, another one that came up as yellow on bleed. Cool. Um, we have some bleed nodes over here. Which, with the lion eyes in the middle, will give us more bleed. So let's make our way over there. Now, I can grab more life as I'm coming along. Which is what I plan on doing. Because life is going to be a big one. So I'm just going to grab the life as I'm going along. And we're going to grab... Uh, that bleed node, we're going to come up one, and we're also going to grab these bleed nodes. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need this jewel socket for a lion eyes. I don't know if you actually get this one or not. And then right here, we're right next to armor and max life, armor and max life. So we're going to grab this. Now, I'm looking at this bleed node, and I can see... That if I scroll in on it, it looks like there's blood coming down it. Now, what is that? Because the same symbol, the same symbol is right here. This is uh increased damage with skills that cost life. Our skills don't cost life. All right, so that does nothing for us. Um. What if we come up here, and here's another one. This also has this little bleed node on it, but what does this do? Increase physical damage, that increases bleed. Physical damage over time multiplier and increase physical damage, that increases bleed. Physical, 10% uh, physical damage over time multiplier, more life and increase physical damage, cool. What does this left side do? Increase physical damage and uh, regenerate 1% of life per second if you stunned an enemy. That does nothing for us. But this is really good with bleed. So let's start specking up here. Let's see. This is 1, 2. Can I just click right there? No, I got to click every single one of these. 3, 4. We're just going to spec through this life right here. And let's grab all of this physical damage over time stuff. Awesome. There's more life right here, so let's just grab that life. Um, This is ignore movement penalties from armor, so I guess I'm just going to grab that also. Awesome. Now, how many passives have we just used? We have 54 points left. And it seems like everything that we have gotten so far, let me scroll back down, is all strength. This is strength, this is strength, all of this stuff is strength, that's strength, this is all strength. Strength and strength and strength, but this is also everything for damage. This is everything for damage. And then we picked up some life on the way. Um, so that's bleed. Can I add something else in here? What else can we do to increase damage? Uh, physical damage over time. Or what about just damage? Let's type in the first one and let's go damage. D-A-M-A-G-E. Damage. There is a... Everything pops up as damage. Okay, so that's not going to help us. Let's type in physical damage over time. Physical damage over time. Um, these two pop up. We already got those. And these two way up here also pop up. 
physical damage over time multiplier. This also has that little bleed symbol on it. Crush enemies for 4 seconds when you hit them while they're on full life. 40% increased physical damage. And this is still all strength based. So let's come up here. Um, let's grab all this life. And let's continue our journey up here. So damage over time multiplier, damage over time multiplier, and then 40% increased physical damage. Now how many points do we have? 44. We only have 44 left. And it looks like from this point we are going to be... heavily armor based but that was physical damage over time did I come and check over here for any physical damage over time we have no physical damage over time anywhere else on the tree okay so we have all the physical damage over time now I think the next one is just damage over time so let's take this word away that says physical and let's just do damage over time oh we got stuff lighting up over here okay let's scroll up a little bit oh, what do you know this one fire damage over time we are not fire damage over time what is this down here because we're already down here what does this say um fire damage over time we are not fire damage over time this is also fire damage over time. Oh, we got a lot of them over here this way. What is this? This is uh, increased damage over time with the bow skills. I don't think bleed is a bow skill. Um, increased damage with bows. Damage over time with bow skills. See, we're not looking for damage over time with bow skills. We're looking for regular damage over time. What is this? Damage over time with bows. Damage over time with bows. Damage over time with bows. And damage over time with bows. Huh. So this is one, two, three, four. Well, this is one, two, three. What is this? Damage over time for poisons. Nope. What is this? Damage over time with bows. Ooh, all this over here is increased damage with bows. With bows. Um, what is all this? Increased damage with bows, with bows, with bows. We're going to be using a bow. What is this? Chaos damage over time, increased damage with bows. Uh, what is this? Chaos damage over time multiplier damage over time here we go so we need to get to entrophy we need to get to growth and decay because these are just flat damage over time this is damage over time multiplier for elements from critical strikes um what is all this chaos damage over time what is this? Increased physical damage. We haven't gotten to just increased physical damage. We're still on damage over time. But now we get to spec into some of this dexterity. Oh, even right here. Damage over time with bows. I don't think we're looking for that, though. So, damage over time with bows. We're just going to go for regular damage over time. So, let's run down here. And, you know, let's grab the health as we're going along. Let's continue. Um, we can also, you know, actually... Let's just do that. And then we'll just grab the bigger nodes. And, uh... Let's continue up. Grabbing life along the way. And then we'll continue up. Until we get to increase damage over time, damage over time, increase damage over time. Um, 
we can get we can get dexterity and intelligence with two more life nodes but then we could also just take this route up here and grab all of this damage over time now how many skill points do i have left i only have eight points left um and i've done everything for damage all of this stuff has been for damage i've grabbed life along the way but all we have right now is damage and i only have eight points left but this isn't this isn't it this isn't everything but this is just where we're at right now for damage over time remember we have more ways to scale bleed damage so what if we just went physical damage instead so let's come over here and let's see physical damage Is there anything on here that says physical damage? Maybe I have to type in increased physical damage. Oh, I didn't spell damage right. There we go, physical damage. And we get a lot of options that now start to open up for physical damage. What is this over here? 15% increased physical damage, increased physical damage. So that's 8%, that's 8%, that's 15%. Over here on this life will, on this life will, we get another 16%. That seems a lot closer than coming all the way up here for this, all this damage over time. I mean, this physical damage is right here. We're already path to it. Uh, do we get more physical damage somewhere? Oh, even right here to this right side, it's, you know, physical damage. And we get some overwhelm physical damage. That seems easier than specking all the way over here. So let's spec out of all of this. Because this seems like a very, very far and long travel distance that we would have to do, you know, just for more damage. We had to go a long ways to get these. So let's spec out of all of these. Can I? Is this working? Oh, wait, no. I got to spec out of that. There we go. Everything we just specced into, we're going to spec out of. Because it's too far. All this stuff is way too far away. We can keep that health, though. Now we're back to... Having 39 points. So let's continue to grab life. And we'll grab that big node. Um, we can grab these big nodes. Or those small nodes. Is there anything else over here that gives us physical damage? What if we came over here? Increased attack speed, strength, 26% increased physical damage. That seems pretty dope. Increased armor. So let's spec over here real quick. Give ourselves some increased armor. Elemental resistance. We can grab ourselves some health. Attack speed, physical damage. All of these over here are 12 physical damage. This is melee. See, this says 26% increased physical damage. While this just says increased melee physical damage. We're using a bow. We're not melee. We're so invested into strength right now as it is. I feel we have no other choice but to play with armor. But we have tons of different ways to get physical damage. Did I, did I grab these ones yet? There, we can even grab that. Even right here, overwhelm physical damage reduction. We're already right here, why not? Now we have 17 points left. We have our life. We have our bleed damage. But let's take it further. What else does it say? We have our damage over time. We did our bleed damage. Damage from ailments and then flat physical damage. If there's one thing that I know about this tree... It is the fact that everything you're going to get on here is going to be a percent. 
25%. Unless it's, you know, a, a stat like strength or a stat like dexterity, which will give you a flat number of 20. Or if you're grabbing a health node, you can get a flat number of 20 from right here, constitution, and right above it, you can get another 20, which is just flat life. But other than that, everything else you will be getting is going to be a percentage. We're all going to get percentage. This right now, we can type in elements, but we will not get a flat physical number. So our last source of DPS is elements. Let's type in element right there. Elements. Does this work? Oh, we have some things that are starting to show up. Okay. What are these? Well, we're already right here. What is this? Increased effect of your curses. Increased damage with hits and elements against cursed enemies. Hexes you inflict have more doom. 20% increased damage with hits and elements against cursed enemies. Cool. So if we're going to run a curse like vulnerability or despair, I may even go temporal chains to increase my curse this is something that we're already at right now that we can spec into to grab more damage what about this what does this say marked for death it's calling strikes against marked enemies we don't have a mark we are not using a mark what is this down here this is damage and critical strikes against blinded enemies increased damage against enemies who are blinded 25 percent increased critical strike chance against people who are blinded we are not going to be blinding anybody, as far as I know. What is this? That's the calling strike. What is this? Um, elemental resistances and avoid elemental elements, which may come in handy. Is there anything else? Here's some nodes down here. Attack damage while holding a shield, holding a shield, holding a shield. We are not holding a shield. None of that applies to us. Is there anything else? Oh, way up here. Even over here, what is this? Chaining and uh, increased damage hits and elements from targets that they chain from. We're not using chain. Perfect agony. Modifiers to critical strike multiplier also apply to damage over time multiplier for elements from critical strikes at 50% of their value. We're not going to be using perfect agony. We did not go crit. We're not specking all the way up here, so I'm pretty sure it is safe to say that we are now done collecting all of our damage and we have our health. Now it's time to work on defenses. I'm pretty sure that we have enough defenses or enough spec into strength. We may even need to spec more into dexterity just to use a bow or to use a quiver because bows and quivers require dexterity. We do have some dexterity stats in other places, like uh, this, for example. That gives 20 strength. That gives 10 strength. Right here. Uh, two I'm going to have to spec into. Versati uh, versatility, 20 dexterity, 20 intelligence. Right here is... Where's it at? Art of the Gladiator, 20 dexterity. Um, if I needed to get more dexterity, I have a node right here with, like, proficiency. Other than that, I could get dexterity on gear. I mean, I have other ways of getting dexterity that don't require using the tree. We don't have any jewel sockets, but we do only have 15 points left. Which a lot of people are never going to get to this level to use the extra 15 points anyways. But since we are specced all the way over here, I don't think we really need this life. I don't think we need this dexterity or farsight. We may not even need these dexterity nodes. I would like to keep deadly draw. I don't even think we need that. But it's time to work on defenses. Now that we have all of our armor taken care of. Armor. Our 
offenses our bleed damage taken care of it's time to look for armor so let's type in armor a r m o u r let's see what comes up Ooh, we have a lot for armor what is this increased life increased evasion and armor rating that's cool what is this down here Increased evasion and armor rating, 4% to elemental resistances, armor and resistances, that's cool. What is this down here? Iron reflexes, converts all evasion rating to armor. Dexterity provides no bonus to evasion rating. So this will allow us to use evasion gear, per se, um... Let's go Path of Exile Evasion. Um, let's look at a base item. Can I get a base item? Other items. Uh, da, 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 not what I'm looking for. Let's go to the unique items and I will give you a example. How far up do I have to scroll? Stop with the pop-ups. All right. So where's an armor at? Armor, armor, armor. Is there any armor? Boots, I guess. Nope. There's got to be right here. Skin of the loyal. No evasion on it. Uh, it's Ziri Splendor. Here we go. Evasion is... uh. 1,283 to 1,513. So it will give us 1,513 armor in place of that evasion. That is what this keystone will do. That's what these are called, keystones. Iron reflexes will do that. But we would need enough dexterity, since it does have a requirement, Uh, 66 dexterity, 66 strength, or 66 intelligence just to wear it. So in order for us to wear this armor, we need 66 dexterity, strength, and intelligence. And speaking of intelligence, we have none. I mean, I can get a node like Wisdom of the Glade or Hard Knocks. Am I up? far enough to grab this one also yeah i could probably even grab ancestral knowledge or expertise depending on the gear and roles that i get um but we have what is this increased armor and maxed life increased armor and maxed life increased armor increased armor increased armor but didn't i read that with armor where is it at you can't rely on armor only there are also magical attacks to deal with. So, I would say that it's pretty safe that we have our armor taken care of already. Just through strength. Through pure strength nodes on the tree that we have right now. I'm going to say it's safe to say that we are done with armor. Now we need to look for a secondary defense. Since we cannot use armor solely. Can we get evasion to evade attacks? The lowest we can get is 5% anyways. So we can get armor evasion gear depending on our dexterity. Um, There are some blocks, but we cannot block with a bow. There is, in fact, a quiver that will give you your base block chance. And you can block with the quiver. But that would be taking my quiver slot and I have no intention on using block. So that leaves us with either evasion or dodge as our last two defenses. So let's type in dodge. D-O-D-G-E. Where is dodge at? Dodge is way up here. Acrobatics and phase acrobatics. Now, can we get over here in time? Let's see. If I spec myself up here, we can grab 
acrobatics and phase acrobatics now are we over we will have one point left in order for us to use acrobatics and phase acrobatics and with this one point left we could even probably grab that and that would be level 100 i don't plan on going on level 100 uh we could probably sacrifice a bunch of this damage and stuff uh what do we not need i don't think we need farsight let's get rid of farsight i'm keeping the health i don't think that we need deals damage uh deal but tend to damage over time multipliers a lot so anything multiplier i'm gonna keep um i don't think that we need these we'll take away all that extra physical damage now how many points do we have left now we have six which would make us level 87 no 90 because it's 99 is the highest right that would be level 93 which is doable level 93 is doable but let's sacrifice some more do we need this damage reduction no now we have eight points left do we need is there anything else that we don't need this physical damage with attack skills if we just specced into those two in the beginning we can get rid of all these there we go now we have 10 points left which would leave us at like level 89 which 89 is very doable 85 is usually what people want um what else can i spec out of uh If I spec one point right here, I can get rid of this and still have my health. And what does that give me? Now we're at 12 points. What else can I sacrifice? Is there a better way to path this out? No. So this this would be about what what it what it should look like. And the rest is going to have to depend on gear. But we have our dodge. We have our armor. We have our 12 points. Um, this is probably as good as it's going to get. We have all of our life. We even have some nodes that have resistances on them. So yeah. This is probably how we're going to gain our defenses. Is through acrobatics and phase acrobatics. Um, if we wanted to spec into iron reflexes, we probably could. I wasn't done with armor yet. Hold on. A-R-M-O-U-R. We're not done with armor. We can't just use armor solely. Um, while affected by our guard skill, no. What is this right here? 100% chance to defend with double armor, but maximum damage reduction for any damage type is only 50%. Any damage type is 50%. That would include spell damage. So even if you got hit by spell damage, you would only take 50%. Okay. What is this? Soul of Steel is more flat armor. Cool. Maximum resistances, increased armor. We have a way for more armor down here. 14% increased armor. Um, increased armor. Chance to gain endurance charge when you're hit. So, what is that? 10% life, physical damage. I mean, armor, strength, physical damage. If we wanted to get rid of Path of the Warrior, we could probably spec into more armor that is closer to us. At this point, it's picking and choosing and filling out your character. What feels good, what doesn't feel good. You're probably going to, to use a lot of regrets to... uh start switching up your character to you know what what is working what is not working i do plan on doing act one but this is how i plan on getting my defenses and pathing out my my uh tree 
There is going to be masteries, though. So depending on what bleed masteries we get, who knows? I might spec into Cannibalistic Rite for the masteries. We don't know how this is going to turn out. But this is a general layout for the most part. Acrobatics and phase acrobatics for the dodge. Because that's the only thing we can do. We cannot block. Unless we get the block quiver. So these are about our only options. Stack, it's going to be dodge and armor. That's, that's what we're doing. And this is how we're going to get our defenses. So for our gear, it's probably all going to be armor based. Why not? Maybe on the boots, if we got some armor boots, we can probably get more dodge on the boots. Spell dodge as a rolled modifier. Who knows? But that will about sum up this video on how we're going to get our defenses and what defenses are we getting. So before I forget, we are going armor. So we're not blocking. Defenses is armor. Armor based defense armor um armor and this is going to be through strength and gear and then our secondary base uh is going to be dodge and this is going to be through uh Acro in phase acro. And then evasion is still going to be an option. Depending on how much dexterity we're going to have. And the dexterity isn't for more evasion. It's for being able to wear evasion gear. So this is evasion. Um, still, still an option. To run with to run with what what is this called iron reflexes uh, not to run with to pair with to pair with uh, iron reflexes there we go Now let me save as, we're going to put this on the desktop, and it's going to be uh, bleed, glad, scourge, start. There we go. Now save. There we go. And then save again. That way all this work just doesn't go to crap. That's how we're going to be getting our defenses. I might make one more video. Looking at some gear and some gear types. Along with some roles that we might want on things like a bow or a quiver and things like that. But this is going to be generally what it is. Um, who knows? Some of these passives up here. Or even some of these... Uh, Increased physical damage passives that I had grabbed. We're probably not going to need those. Anyway, if you liked the video, thank you. And I will see you all in the next one.